It's time for a story from our book, Tales of Friendship with Winnie the Pooh. Each story happens here in the Hundred Acre Wood. Hello. Are you ready to meet Pooh and all his friends? Today, I'm going to read you Friendly Bothers. Are you good at being patient with your brother or sister or your friends? It's hard, isn't it? And Rabbit finds it especially hard because he finds his friends a bother and, well, let's read the story, shall we? Ready? Rabbit liked to keep things neat and tidy. His garden was neat and tidy. His house was neat and tidy. But Rabbit's friends weren't neat and tidy. Hello, the old long ear. Tigger cried as he bounced up. Splat! He landed in a muddy spot in the middle of the garden. Rabbit cried. I just planted my turnips there. Just as Rabbit began to tidy up, Pooh arrived. I was wondering, said Pooh politely, if you might have a spare smackerel of honey. I'm too busy to have you two bothering me, said Rabbit. Off you go. He got straight back to replanting and tidying. Later, Pooh and Tigger came back to apologise. They felt they should help Rabbit clean up. Sorry about the messifying earlier, said Tigger as he bounced into the garden. Pooh tried to be helpful by digging a hole for the turnips. Unfortunately, he dug up the turnips that Rabbit had just replanted. You two make a mess everywhere. Please leave. And this time, don't come back, cried Rabbit. Pooh and Tigger left again. Just as Kangaroo and Roo arrived, they'd overheard what Rabbit had said. Aren't Pooh and Tigger your friends anymore? asked Roo. I'd miss them if they weren't my friends anymore. I would too, dear, Kanga said. Pooh has the warmest heart in the whole wood. Roo nodded. And Tigger never gets tired of playing and always lets me pick the game. Rabbit realised that he would miss his friends if they never came to visit. I think you could be a little more patient with your friends, Kanga told Rabbit kindly. How can I be that patient? Rabbit said. Kanga smiled and told him that all good gardeners know how to be patient. You don't get upset when the wind blows leaves into your garden, do you? Kanga asked. Of course not, Rabbit said. Or when your garden needs water? Absolutely not, said Rabbit. Roo clapped his hands. You are patient, Rabbit. Rabbit realised he must try to be patient with Tigger and Pooh. Next day, they called again. Are you still upset with us, Rabbit? Pooh asked. Before Rabbit could answer, a gust of wind blew his hat up into a tree. Tigger bounced way up to get it back. He Pumpkin patch. Rabbit nearly lost his temper, but he reminded himself that Tigger was trying to help. Thank you, Tigger, Rabbit said as patiently as he could. Shall I tidy these honey pots, Rabbit? Pooh offered, but he accidentally knocked over Rabbit's watering can. Thank you, Pooh, Rabbit said patiently. I was about to water that part of the garden anyway. Rabbit still liked to keep things neat and tidy. But from then on, he tried to be patient. He reminded himself to look for the good things in Pooh and Tigger and all his friendly bothers in the Hundred Acre Wood. Oh, good. I'm so glad Rabbit was able to be patient. We all need our friends, don't we? Ooh, hear that? Nearly bedtime in the Hundred Acre Wood. Now the day is nearly through, it's time for sleepy heads. But there's something we should do before we go to bed. First we get our PJs on, the ones that feel just right. Then we're going to brush our teeth all sparkly and white. Pick our 
favorite storybook and tuck our toys in tight. Don't forget that hug and kiss, then turn up the light. Snug as a bear can be, dreaming in a honey tree. Snug as a bear, yeah, yeah. Snug as a bear can be. Oh, bother. Think, think, think. Let's go through our bedtime list. Got our PJs on? Yes. We've brushed our teeth? Yes. Read our storybook? Yes. Our toys tucked in? Yes. Hmm. Then what did we miss? Oh, yes. That hug and kiss. Snug as a bear can be Dreaming in a honey tree Snug as a bear Yeah, yeah. Snug as a bear can be Good night, trees and honey.